the child will not be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. And if the if the foot if the foot shall say, Because I am not of the of the hand, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. And if the air shall say, Because I am not of the eyes, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. If the whole body were an eyes, where were the hearing? If the whole body was hearing, where were the smelling? But now God has set the members, every one of them, in the body as it pleased Him. I want you to mark them. Amen. Hallelujah. And if there were all one member, where were the body? But now, but now are there member, the many members, yet one body. Today I want to exhort you about the body of Christ. Amen. We meet a system that we grew up under. Hallelujah. And we just follow after the pattern of churches, local churches everywhere. And some people get bound up on the certain religious name. Hallelujah. And most people do this service because of the organization rule. Amen. And some of those rules are not healthy for Christian living because it set division and confusion. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm interested in letting you know that this church belongs to Jesus, not me. Hallelujah. So Paul, the apostle, who was a Jew, persecuted the church on his Damascus road, met with Jesus, fell to the ground. Hallelujah. And he heard this voice speaking to him and saying, Saul, Saul, why thou keep against the prick? And he heard the voice saying, It is hard for thee to keep. Amen. Against the prick, Paul. Hallelujah. And then he talked to Paul and tell him, You have many things to suffer for my name. Immediately, Paul the Apostle become a member of the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother, let's go down to the um, 13. Let's go down to 13. Today I want to speak concerning the understanding of the body of Christ. Amen. I want you to shift your focus from the name and let your focus be upon Christ and his body. Amen. For by one spirit, we are all baptized into one body. Hallelujah. One spirit. What is that spirit? The Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Now this is not the baptism for ministry. This is the baptism to become a member of the body of Christ. Many people in church today become a member of the local church and that's good because you got to keep some record because of the law amen but the real issue here is that baptizing with that same spirit baptism mean to plunge into or immerse motion Amen. Hallelujah. So, for by one spirit. Now that spirit we're talking about is the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit that gave the birth, the spiritual birth, into the body of Christ. That make you become a member of the body of Christ. It is the same Holy Spirit 
that cause your name to be written in the book of life. Hallelujah. As we read in Revelation 20. Uh, in Revelation 20. Hallelujah. So, that spirit, when he baptizes you into the body, you are not your own anymore. You belong to the body of Christ. That same spirit is a spirit that operate with divine order. Amen. There's a lot of people in church live how they want to live and talk how they want to talk. As a matter of fact, some people, you can't correct them. But let me tell you something. If you, if you baptize with that body, that body that calls you to connect to Christ, that, that spirit, and that spirit is the one that calls you to be a babe in Christ is the same spirit that give you that change your desire for the from the things of the world and to the things of God amen it is the same spirit that give you desire to fellowship in the church in the local church it is the same spirit that cause you amen to be convicted of sin when you commit sin amen Hallelujah. So that spirit baptized all the members. When he said we all baptize, he's talking about those who he baptized. Amen. In the body of Christ. Not everybody that baptized and in some churches, hallelujah, are baptized into the body of Christ. Amen. So we will have different type of people in hallelujah in the organization or in the local churches that operate different as we read hallelujah about jesus and the jews this morning hallelujah because of that spirit now the songwriter say amen that same spirit hallelujah amen that was in christ in me hallelujah and that spirit make us to have the greater one in Christ. Amen. That same spirit is the one that gives us an understanding of the word of God when we seek after him. That same spirit, when he come into you, you will know him because he inside you. Amen. Even though you fall short and make mistake, amen, yet still is that same spirit that God has given to you. You see, when God give you the spirit according to John, hallelujah, that same spirit abide in you forever and forever. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you need to be conscious about that spirit that you have received. Hallelujah. And many today, even though that you have that spirit in you and growing, yet still some, you could walk away from that spirit. Amen. You could move away from the spirit and enter back into the flesh because you have fleshly people who live, amen, according to the flesh. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, you will find the account there. And there are people who follow after that same spirit amen hallelujah so that we need to understand that we're not dealing here just because of the local assembly we're dealing here about uh, jesus christ and his church hallelujah amen the pastor don't die for you the bishop don't die for you amen hallelujah it is jesus christ who shed his blood when he walked upon Golgotha Hill one dreadful morning. Hallelujah. And amen. He suffered and bled and died by the hands of cruel men. It was one of the most wicked things that ever happened to humanity on the face of planet Earth. And so that he made the sacrifice for sin so that he that spirit could function with the blood of jesus amen hallelujah amen so that spirit 
Amen. Now when Jesus died from the on the cross, amen, that his blood flowed down the cross. Hallelujah. And in that blood, the Bible said, in the blood is life. Hallelujah. So the life of him, which is the spirit life, flow with the blood. And the blood of Jesus. You know, many people don't understand, Pastor. Amen. Pastor, the, 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 what the blood is all about. So we could take, amen, we could say what we want with the blood. But we don't have control over the blood. It is only the Spirit of God that have control over the blood. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. And the blood didn't come to, amen, to just put it on the wall and put it everywhere. The blood came for a soul to give birth, amen, uh, by the Holy Ghost. That people will be born again uh, and transformed by the power of God uh, so that they can be in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, and unless you, unless you remain, if you remain in that condition of your life, uh, that amen, and don't baptize, there will be no change in your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. No change. Hallelujah. 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 And brethren, when that spirit change transformed my life, I didn't go back into the bottle. I didn't go back and take, amen, the coke or the dope. I end up finding myself in a place with eight faithful people praising God and worshiping God with anointed man of God. Hallelujah. That same spirit bring you under authority, under order. As Sister Henry saying, that amen, divine covering. Amen. You can't tell me you baptize with the Holy Ghost uh, and you're not in a church and you're not under divine covering to give account. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's madness. The Spirit of God uh, operate in order. Amen. Amen. If you look at David, David said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. The Lord respect my soul. He talked about the Amen. He, he delivered me from all evil and so forth with that psalm. But David was a man. Amen. I was anointed by the Spirit of God. And you look at the David life. David was a man of divine order. Hallelujah. When Saul was out of order, both of them had the anointing, but one went away in his flesh and pleased his flesh, and one, amen, obeyed God, even under great persecution, it caused David to submit himself to God. You see, when you baptize with the Holy Ghost, amen, hallelujah, amen. Uh, when you're going through pressures of life, He is there with you. Uh, he will not leave you. He will be with you. Uh, yes, Amen. God said, uh, Amen. Psalm 91. In trouble, I will be with thee uh, and show him my salvation. Uh, that's the Holy Ghost uh, that David was speaking about. Uh, that was in David's life. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, many times David tried to fly and fly away and move away. Hallelujah on his own but David stayed with the Lord and he keep himself in the love of Christ amen today hallelujah when the Lord come you gotta give a count for that spirit and that blood that is shed hallelujah for living a life that is not pleasing to you amen hallelujah I love some of you how you operate that you can't come to church and you call and say you can't make it to church. Hallelujah. Some of you even say, well, the reason why, while well, some again would not do that. I wonder if they understand the operation of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Because when the Holy Ghost baptizes you, he brings you under divine order in the church. And amen, hallelujah. When God raised up the shepherd or the apostle or those who be raised up, amen, and place you under divine authority, you amen under divine order you not of your own hallelujah you can do what you want again because amen the Holy Spirit is within you 
I remember once I said something in church, Brother Dennis, uh, hallelujah, and the pastor said, you shouldn't say that. And I went home and, and cried like a little baby. Why? Because in days passed by, Brother Dave, uh, I wouldn't study the pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. I wouldn't study anybody because I was my own boss. But when you baptize with that spirit, you're not your own boss again. Hallelujah. Amen. You're not your own boss. Hallelujah. In the local churches, what normally in Pentecostal, what we used to do before, when you fellowship in a church and you're moving to another church, what you do, you end up even get a letter from the church, from the pastor, amen, and the board member, and amen, they give you a letter to go to another church where that amen, the grace of you, the pastor could see a report, amen, that come in to the church, and the reason why because amen it was an order set down in the church but today as men just continue to go and raise up church on their own and begin amen hallelujah they get vexed with somebody in the church they, amen because God using them a little they get angry and they move amen hallelujah listen to me hallelujah. that's why I encourage people to get to know the people that you're going under as leaders because what is on them gonna pass to you yeah. amen. amen hallelujah so we are all baptized in the body of christ i remember my father used to work with the background journey the background is white people what came down in the caribbean and took those estate and them hallelujah and they continue people working with them and my father said we used to work in that estate when you're living, when they fire you, hallelujah, they dismiss you, amen. And the other estate owner had to employ you. He said that, amen, that they have, he sent you back to get a letter from the first boss, amen, to, to give you a letter. And, amen, and in that letter, he have a report about your behavior. Why the reason that you get fired, amen. That is order. And if these people who didn't know Jesus could operate so, amen, what going to happen is that, amen, hallelujah, then it will have no order. So people could do what they want in church. When you talk to them, they get vexed and they go, hallelujah, and they just do their own thing. But that is not so with the body. Amen, not so with the body. In the body of Christ, there is order, hallelujah. And so that the, uh, uh, we, you know, one other thing I, I minister to people in Trinidad, we t tell people, we, we, we do the same thing. We give them letters when they go in the church, hallelujah. I remember there's a lady who used to rebel. And when she came and she said, she go into this church and the pastor asked her for a letter. I give her the letter, amen. Hallelujah. And amen. I didn't put no bad report on it. Because if she can't fellowship by me. And she could fellowship somewhere. Praise the Lord. The pastor is able to discern it. If he, amen, he is a man of order. So I'm saying to you. That the spirit is a spirit of order. And that spirit. Whether Jews or Gentile. Whether bond or free. Have, amen, all have been made to drink into one spirit drinking into one spirit so if you drink alcohol brother Dennis and hallelujah and when you get high you're going to start to speak with that spirit that you have in you and <laughs> that's so amen you're going to speak that way hallelujah and that's alcohol what's about the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, All he that hung and trust, let me come and let me drink. So, Amen. Hallelujah. And out of his belly shall flow rivers of 
living water. So what you receive, what you baptize into, what you drink into, that's what you're going to give out, Sister Leslie. And hallelujah. That same spirit, the operation, the order of that same spirit. So when you meet, amen, a brother, a sister, and you drink of that spirit, amen, you want to encourage them. You will share with them. When somebody hurt you, you will forgive them and you will say, Lord, forgive them just as Jesus forgave. Amen. 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 We live in, in a day today when the scripture tell you, Amen, about a lot of iniquity will take place in the midst of Christianity. Hallelujah. And so that people, Amen, who choose to follow their own way, Amen, they're not going to get Jesus because we learn that God know Abraham and he know you before he give you his spirit. So if God know you won't change, then why he give you his spirit? No. That God is too wise for that. And let me tell you something. Don't believe that you're smarter than God. Amen. I send that scripture verse, I send that, that word to, to some people and two people call me and ask me, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by don't think you're smarter than God? <laughs> and they get upset with me. Just as how they choose to get upset with Jesus. And that's a fact. You can smarter than God. You can be wiser than God. It is Jesus Christ that built the church. He has life in him. And he has the power to take life. He is life. He is light. Amen. Whatever we do, it will come to the light. Hallelujah. So we all was made to drink. If you baptize with that same spirit. So we will talk the same language. We will, amen, operate, amen, by the spirit. Hallelujah. And what we have in us. Amen. You find sometimes that you hung and tossed to read the Bible. You hung and tossed to come to church. You hung and tossed to, to, to meet somebody. Just to talk to them. Hallelujah. With excitement because of what you drink. Amen. Hallelujah. What you drink. And brethren, is one body with one spirit. Hallelujah. And so, if you're a member of the body, you can say you don't need the hand. You can say you don't need the eye. Because all members are different, amen, in the operation. And I believe that every member in the body is supposed to be functioning. Amen. Make no mistake. People just have the mentality, just go to church, visit church, and that is it. That's not what the Spirit is all about. God will save you, amen. If God will save you and make you look nice and do things and take you to heaven, amen, He will do that. But He has... Amen. A purpose for every member because you are special in his sight. Your gift is different than mine and others. Hallelujah. And we need to understand that we are member of one body. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the air say, the air say, amen. If the air shall say, because I'm not the eyes, I am not the eyes. Not the body. It is therefore not of the body. Hallelujah. And so it goes down. Go down, brother Dennis. Go. Hallelujah. And I just want to skip that part and look in it. But now had God set the member, every one of them in the body as it pleased him. Amen? If God set me as it pleased Him to function, hallelujah. You know, yesterday we were coming up here, Pastor Blackman, my wife, and Sister Bowman in the car. And we are talking about how people change the sex. They have uh, those women changing the butt, men changing and putting breasts and all kind of things. And He tell me that these people don't satisfy how God made them. Amen. 
they do, and some of them die. Hallelujah. When God set you as a member in the body, you can't tell God how you want or what you want. He made you to be that. He set you for that purpose. And you got to remain that way. Amen. 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 And it is God's will that every one of us have our functioning. So this is not a church visit. This is not about, amen, again baptized and just become a member. No. If you want to be a member of the body of Christ, you got to meet certain conditions that cause repentance and you can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost that baptized you to become a member of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. It's sad to know that people in church years after years and don't know if they baptize in the body. It's sad. But today, my friend, because of time, I would like you to pin it. And I want you to make sure that you're in order with the Lord. Amen. Because if you don't baptize with that spirit and walk in order, on that day, it will declare before you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Could we all stand?